Hey y'all. I'm over here eating some Chipotle. Chipotle, I got half the bowl going already. I just went and got my hair done. I didn't get the style I wanted because the hair I wanted was actually really expensive. And y'all know, I'm off this summer. I start back working in September. So, I think I'm gonna wait and show them to get what I really want. Um, I got this for now. Um, I'm so proud of all the Christians that's been standing on business, the believers that's been standing on business about this, um, about these Olympics and them doing the, you know, the blasphemy, um, I lost my train of thought. The blasphemy, um, the supper. You know, when Jesus was at the table and he was eating supper with all the disciples. So, yeah, that's that can't be, like, played around with. Like, you shouldn't be doing that. You know, you shouldn't be imitating that and having demonic stuff mixed up in that. Like, come on. What are you doing? Like, we're not doing that. And I'm proud of the Christians that have said, you know, they're not supporting that because of the message they're trying to push. So, um, I want to uh, talk about Jada Waiter, Jasmine Chivas, I don't know if I'm saying their name right, and Queen King. So, I was on the live on TikTok when these girls, they were talking about celebrity topics. But they was talking about jazz and the 600 Breezy situation in the interview uh, Jazz had on the um, on Jada's podcast. And Jazz actually jumped on there. Like, she jumped on there. And she was going in. Her and Tokyo Tony. Let me know if y'all was on that live on the TikTok that day that Jazz and Tokyo Tony called up the telling them girls off. This is my thing. This is how I feel about it. I love all three ladies. Jada, uh, Jazz, and Queen King. I like all three ladies. This is my thing. I feel like Jazz should never have been discussing Queen Key's kids. Listen, if the man you laying up with and, and, and had a baby with, he pillow talking, and he's talking to you about his ex or his baby mom, whatever situation, stay out of that. Y'all not even married. That's one. Second, like, her kids have nothing to do with you. Like, you should never be speaking about her kids. You didn't see no DNA test, no nothing. As a matter of fact, Queen never even had a DNA test done. So, technically, he could just be telling you whatever. He don't, you know what I'm saying? He don't, you can't just take his word for face value that those are not his kids and it's like you shouldn't even be speaking about that second people were saying stuff about oh jada knew what she was doing she made um she made her sister come up on that show um and made her talk about certain things have her looking stupid just to get views for her podcast that's the furthest from the truth because if you actually watch the podcast when Jazz was going into that conversation about the Queen King and her kids, you can see Jada was low-key kind of telling her to be quiet and kind of trying to skate around the subject. She was trying to tell her don't talk about that, but Jazz wasn't catching the hint. Or either she caught the hint, but she didn't care. She wanted to keep discussing it anyway. I just feel like whatever guy you dealing with, he got kids with somebody else you stay out of that situation i was married and i promise you my husband his baby mom she was a piece of work i'm telling you like i ain't even gonna get into her too much but i stayed out of that crap i stayed out of it like they had a kid before i got involved and they have to deal with how to raise that kid and you know what's best for that kid it's not for me to say anything I feel like even if he's not claiming Queen's kids, you still don't need to speak about that. That's for him to speak about if he have an interview or something like that. That's for him to deny those kids or claim those kids. 
you should never be speaking on another woman's kids because when somebody uh speak on yours you gonna have a problem and the way she be going in on her lives because i be on her lives sometimes like you can't even say anything about blaze so it's just like you can't give her no advice no motherly but no nothing like she be jumping at everything so why are you so comfortable discussing somebody else's kids and thinking that that was gonna be okay not really understanding it so that's all i wanted to say that's my opinion on the situation i'm about to finish my food and get back home because i know these kids is probably like where's mommy at so that's all guys i love you guys have a blessed day put your opinion in the comments like comment subscribe bye